from the Eronga mountain and surrounds Namibia, a lovely uh, uh, shell tourmaline crystal uh, encrusted by some uh, feldspar and some quartz crystals, tiny, lightly smoky quartz crystals, all absolutely natural, of course. Is this a floater? Quite possibly it's a floater. I may have sat on some matrix on this section, so I may have sat in, in sight like this. There we have the lovely Ben star with an accentuation across the edges. This, this edge has minor contact, hardly noticeable. I think in the still pictures is where I actually first saw it, once I was processing them. So, um, only noticed on finer inspection. Um, Hang across like that, little bit tiny, tiny uh, uh, smoky quartz crystals uh, and the, the feldspar dusting it, actually breaking the intense black color. Now the the, the Irongo uh, shells or the black tourmalines are known for their amazing luster. And uh, uh, what's so weird, uh, when photographing these, this angle for instance looks pretty accurate. Now when you take it off angle slightly, it's as if the color changes. They are actually dark, deep, rich black. Lovely form, bright, lustrous, um, all the way from Namibia, Oronga and Surround. Shoal tourmaline with uh, smoky quartz and lightly smoky quartz and uh, uh, feldspar crystals. And this is how I display it, going around like this. And then also on the sides, you have Lemurian writings on the quartz. Now these Lemurian writings would almost be sideways, so you'd be looking at them like this. Look at that, quite, quite lovely. All the way around like this. And let's have a look at the face again, the V, the bends. There we go.